And then my final question for you is in terms of having a positive mindset during the stop, job search, we know that it's very stressful. We know that finding a job is a full-time job. We know that people have to do so many things, network, writing articles, uh, connection and preparing, but they also have to have kind of a break from this routine, not to be in front of the computer eight hours. So what tips yeah. you have in, in terms of having that positive mindset will help the job seekers these days. Oh yeah. I, I think mindset is everything for everything we approach in life. It's so important. First of all, uh, I like to approach everything with a growth mindset. I wrote about this in my book, own your career, own your life. Um, but that whole chapter on it, but there's a whole book that I love called mindset by Dr. Carol Dweck, which talks about people having either a fixed or a growth mindset and a growth mindset means you approach things uh, with an open mind that, you know, you can always learn, you can always get better. There really is no such thing as failure. There's only learning opportunities. And so, you know, it's a challenging situation when you're going out and you're looking for that new job. And yes. you mentioned treating it like a job. I think it really is important that you take an ownership mindset as well, that you mm. own it, you treat it like it is your job right now to look for that next job. And so you're spending enough time on it. You're doing all the things that you need to do. You're writing down what are the goals? What are the things that are going to move you forward? You're not just reacting or waiting for things to come your way. So, you know, I'm going to connect with five or 10 new people every week. I'm going to start three to four new conversations every week. I'm going to share one piece of content every week. I'm going to apply for at least five new jobs every week. I'm going to get two to three interviews every week. I'm going to build my network this way. Um, and think about all the things that you need to do and get into a habit of doing those things on a regular basis. And then maintaining that optimism that Yes. Things are going to work out, right? It's challenging yeah. right now. This is not where you'd want to be. It's hard. Um, yeah. It's not easy, right? But eventually you're going to get the right job. It's going mm -hmm. to find you. And even if that job is not perfect, realizing you've got a long career in front of you. And so this might not be the dream job, but it could be a great stepping stone that you're going yes. to go do this for a couple of years while you continue to explore opportunities and maybe something else comes along and you're going to keep talking to people because you never know what might come up. Mm -hmm. Now, the other side of all this is you don't want to burn out. You don't want it to get the best of you. You don't want to get stressed and anxious about it because it is just a job. It's not everything in life. Uh, so I always recommend, you know, taking care of your health. Uh, I'm big on meditation um, and mindfulness. So do that on a regular basis, exercise, um, get outside, take a walk in between those interviews or the, the messages that you're sending out, mm. um, connect with family and friends and have conversations and share your concerns and your stress. Don't try to pretend that everything is great and you've oh. got it all figured out. You yeah. see so many people doing that and internally they're torn up, right? Mm. I always feel better when I have conversations, I share the my anxiety with my wife or with my family or with my friends and have those conversations. And when people know what you're struggling with, then it's a lot easier for them to help you. You know, someone might say, oh, I have an opportunity for you, or I have this resource or something that can help you out. Um, so I think it's really important to share that stuff and have those conversations, be open with conversations all, yes. all the time. So um, meditation and mindfulness, exercise, uh, having conversations, be willing to ask for help. Yes. I think it's really important. Share with people your goals and your challenges, what you're working on, um, what you want to try to get better at. Uh, and remember that there's, you've got a long career and a long life in front of you. So you've got to take care of yourself. Yes. Um, you know, even if the next thing you find is not the job, the dream job, mm -hmm. there'll be plenty more jobs after that. There's going to be a lot of opportunities that might come from this. You've got to just keep taking the next step to get to the next thing, whatever it may be. Um, but it's not going to come to you. You can't sit there in reaction mode, waiting for things to come. You've mm -hmm. got to take ownership of your career, ownership of your life, set your goals, set your intention and keep taking action and making progress yeah. every day, every week. And it is going to work out for you in the end. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Having a schedule or a structure will help. Maybe Monday from eight to 10, I'm researching about the conference and then I'll go for a walk and then I'll come apply to one place and then have a coffee. Tuesday, I'm going to change it. So if you have structure and goals as intention, that will help you. And there will be days that you will not feel searching for a job. Don't look it. Just close the computer, go out for a walk, go to the nature. Yeah. Your mind needs refreshment. Your mind needs reset so that you can come and be more productive in your job search. 100%. You nailed it. Yeah, thank you for that, Andy. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. I appreciate for taking the time to ask you this couple of questions, which I believe will benefit from job seekers. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of mindset, again, 
please leave comments below. Reach to our to, to us in our social platforms if you have any other questions. And tune in next time for other great uh, guests I'm preparing for you guys. So Andy, best of luck. We'll be in touch and hope one day we can meet for a coffee in person. Bye, everyone. Fantastic. Thank you. Bye-bye.